when is this foolishness going to stop? I know you guys seen that Usher and Alicia Keys bullshit. I know y'all seen that shit. Disrespecting her man on a public performance for millions to see. And people just overlooked it. Like it was nothing, like it was normal. This is how bad dating is. This is how weak men have gotten in this society. The men just tolerate it. And the women just think it's normal to have male friends and to let guys, all these different types of stuff, grope them and hug them from behind. And there's so many goofy things in this situation that we have to break down today that I hope you guys came prepared because there's so many things wrong with Usher, with Swiss Beats, with Alicia Keys. It's shocking. So before we get too far into the video, I just wanna remind you guys, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, like the video. If you guys want to support the channel, all the ways you can support are in the description below. So where do we begin? In case you guys didn't know, or in case you guys were somewhere under a rock somewhere and you didn't watch the Super Bowl, Usher, Usher was hosting this year's halftime show. And he had a pretty decent performance. Uh, but there's one part of the concert that he, or the halftime show that he brings at Alicia Keys. And during that portion of the concert, he gets a little touchy with Alicia Keys, a married woman. And he's married himself. Now, I know they're going, if you ask these individuals in the interview, they're going to be like, hey, it's just entertainment. We got to make it believable. The song is my boo. So I got to act like he's my boo for 30 seconds. All this virtue signaling bullshit. Like you can be entertaining without doing all that extra shit. Like, cut it out. Like, they think we're stupid. So, Usher has been going on a tangent for about the last year. Just dancing and singing to girls and that are taken. Like, I'm going to be real with y'all. If Usher keeps doing this shit, somebody's going to knock him out. Like, for real because he's too comfortable crossing that line at the moment. He don't care if you got a man, he don't care if you single, he don't even care if he in a relationship. Like he's married, but that don't mean a damn thing. When celebrities get into marriages and all that shit, like they said DiCaprio was in a marriage and all that shit, you think that was stopping him from cheating and all that stuff? Hell no. Hell no. So, Usher is at fault. And here's the thing about this. This is how goofy our society is. Usher could do that stuff and in that moment, that woman could enjoy that. But come three years later, she could be like, you know what? I didn't really um, like or consent to Usher touching me like that. I was just playing a character and trying to be alone, but get along, but I really didn't feel comfortable doing that. And Usher could get a lawsuit and have to pay millions of dollars because of that incident. That's how stupid our society is and how stupid Usher is. Like, how the hell is Usher, out of all people, escaping these Me Too cases, these sexual assault cases? He's the only one escaping this shit. Is he, like, protected or something? Actually, he might have gotten one, now that I think about it. But it was quickly swept under the rug. 
Now, let's get to Swiss Beats. The simp. The virtue signaling simp. So, everybody online is, is saying, you know, that what Usher and Alicia Keys did, they were a little too comfortable doing that. They seemed like they were enjoying that moment at the halftime show. Swiss Beats with the guilty conscience types into the feed on social media saying, y'all focus on the wrong things. Y'all should be focused on the collab and the moment on a big stage these two had together. No Swiss Beats. You're a Muslim man in a marriage. What Alicia Keys just did, according to your religious beliefs, according to the counsel and the principles of marriage, that woman violated every last bit of it. She was Jezebel, he's King Ahab. King Ahab was the simp. If you go, if you guys go back and read that story. Matter of fact, that concept is so prevalent. It's so redundant in our society. Think about this for a second. The Jezebel woman literally ran her kingdom into hell because she controlled the men and the men were controlled by her. And she made them do whatever the hell she wanted them to do, whether it was logical or illogical. When you guys walk out and you see these different couples and relationships at Whole Foods, don't you see the same dynamic? Men are so weak at the moment, it's sickening. Men have no standards. Women have gotten, they run a play on you guys that works every time. Here's the play. They shame your manhood. They shame your masculinity. So when these arguments come up, can men and women be friends? You know, when she says she's going out with her male friends, the guy is programmed to say, hey, I'm secure in my masculinity. So... Yes, yeah, she can do that because I trust her. You fucking idiot. Because human nature is human nature. You put two individuals together that are at least seven or eight. You give them intimate time to bond emotionally. To form a bond. And before you know it, they'll be slobbing each other's faces down with that man having that girl's face in the pillow, clapping those cheeks. And then you're such an idiot, you'll be shocked that she would do us such a thing because you thought she was an angel. Get the hell out of here. Get out. So lastly, and I don't want to make this video go too long. Alicia Keys has no respect for Swiss Beats. She has no respect for herself. She don't even have any respect for her damn marriage. Why the hell would you be so elated and so happy to let Usher touch on you and then hug you from behind? Guys, we all, we're men. We know what that hug from, from behind means. That gives your little man a chance to press up against that. You know what? Against her butt. So this whole situation is bullshit. And it's just evidence of our society decaying.
and the dating and mating world being stupid and illogical because they're willing enough to put this in front of millions of people as if this is okay. This is what marriage looks like. A guy who says he has a fiance rubbing and dancing behind a woman who's also married, who's letting a guy dance all up on her in front of millions, programming the youth to be dysfunctional, cheat, be promiscuous. So hopefully you guys took away something from this video. I'm tired as hell. I know you guys see my red eyes, but I had to get this content out for you guys after a long days of work. So don't click off this video. Before you click off the video, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, like the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.